Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon update. Super Bowl LVI. I don't know what Greek numbers mean, but L is like a seven and V is like a four and I is a two. So Super Bowl 742 was amazing. In a new stadium with a newly revived Rams championship team, the team that killed football in L.A. brought football back to L.A. The game is great, and the Bengals did their job on another manic Sunday. We needed that game. A little bit of corporate thirstiness and a stadium full of vaccinated human beings. God, you know what? It it felt like an older time uh, with football, family, and the amazing America we all know. The America full of hope, inspiration, apple pie. And racism. Yes, racism. The day after arguably one of the better halftime shows in history. Not the best. That was this one. And it will never be topped. Fight me in heels in the rain like he did it. But this year, the talent on the biggest stage in the world was amazing. Dr. Dre, Snoop, Kendrick, Lamar, Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, and Eminem. When it was announced, I put it on my calendar. And I'm not a football guy. First of all, any sport that can also be played by five-year-olds isn't a sport to me. It's a game. A sport is when, eh, it's possible for you to die on fire. However, I do respect the talent and insanity it takes to run into another 300-pound man at full speed repeatedly. That being said... The game was great, but the halftime show was epic. I mean, some of the greatest artists of our lifetimes pulled off an impossible show, and it went off without a hitch, and it was so satisfying. And the next day on social media, it was 100% positive, right? Yep, positively racist. Republican and racist Charlie Kirk, I could have just said Republican, racist is implied. He said, the NFL is now the league of sexual anarchy. (laughs) This halftime show should not be allowed on television. Hmm, sexual anarchy as opposed to Jennifer Lopez and Shakira? Or how about Lady Gaga? Or Gwen Stefani and Sting? Or Timberlake and the Jackson Titty incident? Wonder what the difference was with these performers. Hmm. Sean Spicer tweeted, what was the message of this halftime show? Well, Sean, I think it was buy more Pepsi, assholes, as it always is. But question, Sean, what was the message of Springsteen's or the Who's or the Rolling Stones or Katy Perry's halftime show? And what, again, could possibly be the difference? Hey, Sean. What the hell was the message of this? Were you auditioning to be the new bird on the Fruit Loops box? And this? What, you trying to take Captain Crunch's job? You know, racism is so embedded in our society that when some of the best, baddest ass artists to ever make music, artists who have made you shake your body like a horny pony would, shout out to the greatest, they can't just be enjoyed. They've got to be separated by the worst in our society as different because they're black? What year is this? 1822? You know, someone showed up on my Twitter and called Dre, Snoop, 50, Kendrick, and Mary J. Blige hoodlums. Let me correct you. You bass, awkward, white trash douchebag. If you want to call them hoodlums, use the correct modifier. They are billionaire hoodlums, you racist, hate-mongering testicle wart. And never forget, California knows how to party. California. California. California.